Hello, good day, everyone. Um, welcome once again to my channel. This is Engineer Ray. And today we will learn about how to factor the sum and difference of two things. Okay. Now, the first thing for you to do with factoring sum and difference of two cubes is you just have to express each term into cubes. Okay. So, a cube plus b cube. As long as you have already conformed your given expression into this form, then it's, it would already be easy for you to come up with the factors of that um, binomial. So this one, this one is the sum, the sum of two cubes. Okay, talking about the sum of two cubes, this is how it looks like. For the first factor, this one, you just have to copy the basis of this, okay? A cubed, the base of that is, is A. B cubed, the B base of that is B. So just copy that one. And then copy also the operation plus. Okay. For this this one, the second factor, you will have a trinomial, meaning you will have three terms. The first term would be a to the power of two, meaning the square of this first term. The last term is the square of the second term here, b squared. And the operation is always plus. For the middle term, the middle term is just the product of these two, a times b. And then the, the operation is always minus. Okay, this is how it looks like when you factor the sum of two cubes. Now, how about if it's minus, meaning the difference of two cubes? Okay, if if it's the difference of two cubes, again the same process. All you need to do is first you conform the given expression into this form. Okay, and once you have already done that then come up already with the factors. For the first factor, not the first parenthesis, you just have to copy the basis of your form. So you will have A minus B. And then on the second factor, the same thing. Okay, you will have a trinomial, three terms. For the first term, it is just the square of this one. The second, I mean, the last term is just the square of the second term here. And again, the operation is plus and then the middle term is just the product of these two but the operation is plus instead of minus it's plus okay so for you to have a really good grasp about how to factor um the sum and the difference of two cubes let's move on to our examples okay this one this one is a difference of two cubes you have x cubed minus a, okay? So the first thing we need to do is you um, express each term in two cubes or the one with the power of three. So this one, the first term is already expressed into cubes, so you don't have to do anything with that. Minus, how about a? Eight. How will you express a to the power of three? So you just actually have to get the cube root of a. And which is 2. So 2 to the power of 3 is the same as 8, right? 2 times 2 times 2. Now that you have already expressed each term into cubes, you cannot come up with a factor. Okay? Okay, for the first parenthesis, just copy this one. Copy the basis, x minus 2. And then for the second factor, or the second parenthesis, the first term is just the square of the first term here. The last term here is just the square of this one. So that becomes four, two squared. And then for the middle term, this one's plus, okay? This one is plus as well. For the middle term, this is the product of these two terms. So x times two, that's two x. That is already your factor. Okay? Another example. Okay, you have here, this is now a, the sum of two cubes. Okay, 27x cubed plus 64y cubed. The first thing to do is express each term into cubes. Okay, that includes the coefficient and the variable. So 27, how will you express that into cubes? That would be 3x to the power of three. The same, right? 3 to the power of 3 is 27. x to the power of 3, that's x cubed. Plus... How about 64? That's 4. 
y to the power of two. Now, have we already expressed each term into cubes? Yes. So now that we have already expressed each term into cubes, the next thing to do is to come up with the factors. Okay. For the first factor, just copy the basis, right? How about for the second factor? For the second factor, the first term is the square of this term here. So this becomes squared, right? The last term here is the, the, the square of the second term of the first factor, this one. And this one is always plus. How about the middle? The middle is minus. It's always minus. If the first factor is plus, the middle term here is always minus. The product of these two. So 3x times 4y, you get what? 12xy. So this one is 3x plus 4y. Let's just further simplify this one. 3x squared, that's 9x squared minus 12xy plus 4y squared, that's 16y squared. This is now already your Factored form. Another example. X plus two cubed minus one thousand. Okay, again. The first term is already expressed into cubes, so there's nothing else we can do about it. How about one thousand? One thousand. Now it, that can be expressed into cubes, which is ten to the power of two, right? Ten times ten times ten is one thousand. For the first factor or, or the first parenthesis, you just have to copy the basis to x plus 2 minus 10. How about for the second factor? The second parenthesis, it is just the square of the first term here. So this it becomes x plus 2 squared, right? The, the last term here is the square of this one, the second term here. And then the middle term of the second factor is plus. It's always because this one's minus, the middle term should always be plus. And then the product of the two. So that is 10 times x plus two. Then further simplify. X plus two minus 10, that x minus eight. Okay. X plus two squared. So this is a perfect trinomial square. This becomes now x squared plus. 4x plus 4 plus 10x, distribute this one, okay, plus 20, plus 10 squared, that's 100. And then the next thing to do is further simplify once again. x squared, okay, 4, 4x plus 10x, that's 14x, plus 14x. How about with the constants? 4 plus 20, 24 plus 100 plus 124. That's already your factor form. Okay. Last example. 24x power 4 plus 81xy cubed. Now, if you've noticed, 24 doesn't have a cube root. Same with 81. <clears throat> So the first thing to do actually here is you need to take out first the common monomial factor. If, you, if you've noticed, between 24 and 81, it has a, a common factor, which is what? 3, right? So take out 3. How about with the variable? x to the power of 4 and x, it has a common of Right? Okay, so when you take out 3x, what do you have left? You will have now 8x cubed, right? Plus, how about 81? When you take out 3, you will have 27. And then right here. 
Okay, we've learned already about this um, with the greatest common factor. Okay, I already had a video for that. If just in case you wanna um, look it up, in order for you to have a good review about how to do the greatest common factor, um, please do look it up with my playlist and there you may watch it as much as you want. Okay. Um, so now, now that you have already taken out, now that you have already factored the greatest common factor, the next thing to do is you now express each term into the in, into cubes. Eight, eight now can be expressed into cubes, right? So eight x cubed becomes two x to the power of eight. Plus, how about 27? 27 can also be expressed into cubes, which is three. Plus, I mean, three y to the power of three. Okay, now that we have all the expressions into cubes, okay, so now let's now come up with the factor. Okay, the first factor is just what? Just copy the basis, right? So 2x plus 3y. The second factor is what? To get the square of this term, right? So that becomes 2x squared. The last term here is the square of the second term here. And this is always plus, right? Now, since this is plus, the middle term is minus always, and then get the product, 2x times 3y. And then further simplify. 2x squared, you get what? 4x squared. 2x and 3y, you will have 6xy. Plus 3y squared, you have 9y squared. Okay, and that's your answer. Okay, guys, so that's all for today for um, the lesson on how to factor the sum and difference of two cubes. Now, just in case you want another example for this, just comment down below and let me know about it. And I'm gonna make um, another video for you with more examples on the sum, on, on the factoring of sum and, and difference of two cubes, okay? So that's all for now. This is Engineer Egan once again, bye.